Welcome to the Magicians Man. My name is Jamal. Please come in and have a seat today. I just want to do a quick video um, in regards to Karina Kaboom and Amberlynn Reed. Apparently, uh, Karina has, uh, did a video and saying that Amber called her out on Instagram for a couple things, and I was kind of interested to see what's going on. So I watched Karina's video. I've been watching Karina um, for a couple months now, and I've always found her to be very fair. So to see that she made this video and Amberlynn will call her out, kind of like piqued my interest. So I'm just going to go over a couple screenshots from Karina's video. I'll link Karina's video in the description just so you can get the full context from her perspective. So let's start with this first one. All right. Someone says, Karina isn't an angel though. Remember when she clickbaited about you lying about your cancer? Amberlynn says, my memory sucks. I actually don't remember that. But if she did that, that's repulsive. Now, I don't think Karina would do that. Karina's very fair in her critique of Amber. She always roots for Amber and, you know, tries to give her good advice. Amber just doesn't want to hear it. And I don't understand why, because the advice is actually good advice. And I really think Amberlynn should um, take it. Karina, from what I've seen, it has always been, like, thoughtful in her critique, very fair, very honest and to the point and i don't like the fact that she didn't say like oh i don't think karina would do that she's always been fair she's went the route of like oh my memory sucks i'm not sure if she did it, but if she did it, it, to even put that out there that someone would do that is is to me just completely wrong and uncalled for all right let's see what's next this next one is Karina Kaboom is really milking these Q&As and other unnecessary videos recently. Amberlynn says, I don't think I've watched a single video of her since my live stream era. Mm, I don't really believe that, but okay. I do think Amberlynn watches Karina's videos because Karina does like uh, do a lot of videos on her, giving her critique and advice. So I can't see how she cannot see Karina's uh, videos um, unless she puts um do not recommend this channel but i do believe amberlynn's one of those who does watch videos about herself and there's nothing wrong with that some people have really good critique and i think those should be watched while others not so much i think people who go out of their way to uh, fat shame amberlynn talk about her looks i think those are the people that she would want to avoid but those who are actually trying to help her i think she should watch them but as far as milking i mean we're being really honest amberlynn really hasn't done too much content lately like, because I believe she's saying she was taking a break and from what I understand December is the best absence month and January and February are the worst so it would make sense why Amber may not be inspired to do content on YouTube so why not go to Instagram and you know do some Q&A's and that is content I mean the Q&A's to me are more interesting than her actual YouTube content I mean because it gives us insight to her and what her real thoughts are. And I've always said this to a degree that I think a lot of YouTubers, they show one thing on YouTube due to YouTube's TOS. So they felt they had to be on their best behavior with quote unquote daddy YouTube, but they go to Instagram and Twitter. It's a whole different person. It's a whole different like, mentality. This is like the wild, wild west, especially Twitter. So I think Amber's true, honest thoughts come out on Instagram, that's where the good content is. And YouTube, she's going to give us kind of bland, milk toast type of content. You know, the unboxings, the decluttering, the like light shopping, stuff like that. And that's okay, but to me, it's not her best content. I mean, I think Amber Lane can do like really, really good reactions if she put her mind to it because she does have a personality. She does have something there if she could harness it and focus i think i really think her channel could get to 500k subscriber but that's just me she doesn't seem motivated enough to do it so i'm not sure she can get there but i'm hoping she can't i really am what's next and she's she, someone said noticing how haters claim they don't like you for personality then attack your weight here it's a bore and Himberlin's like yes 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 I don't think anyone should be attacking your Berlin for her looks, for her weight. Nada. Let, that's not cool. If you want to like critique her content or her, you know, her behavior, sure, have at it. If she puts it on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, it's there to be critiqued. But critiquing someone's weight is superficial, it's surface, it's childish. Like, 
let's move on from that where most of us are adults, so we should be able to do better. My philosophy is stick to the content, stick to what she puts out there, and do it that way. And I know some people are going to say, well, her body's out there, but still, when I say out there, like stick to the behavior, stick to the issues. Don't body shame because it's not cool, and you never know if you might be in that place one day yourself. And think about how you would feel if people made fun of your looks. Just let's treat each other with a little bit more kindness. All right, last one. Someone says, I noticed a lot of your responses are defensive. Why do you think you do that? And it's like, because 99 of the BS get on here is I have to defend myself. I don't come in here for this, but it's literally all I see. My suggestion, if any kind of BS you see, you don't like, just block the people. <laughs> just block them off your feed, Emberlin. Don't feed into it. Don't don't let it affect your mental health because it really can. Even as adults, things can get to us. And if you're already a sensitive person, it makes it all the worse. I mean, there's no point in getting on your feed on social media to see bad things about you. I mean, your social media should be fun. It should, it should be kind of lighthearted. It should be a place where you feel comfortable. Now, the internet is not quote unquote safe, but you have the right to feel comfortable on your own social media accounts. I do agree with that. Now, that being said, as far as Karina goes, again, from what I've seen, Karina's always been fair. She's always been cool. She's always trying to give you really good advice. And if you choose not to listen to it, fine, but don't try to paint narratives that someone is quote unquote being mean to you when it's when it's not when it's not warranted. Like don't do that. If you want to talk about people who come after you all the time, who talk about your weight, your looks, um, anything like that, feel free to go off on them. I understand that. But don't go after the people and paint narratives, false narratives on people who are just trying to help you. That's not cool. It's completely wrong. And you should stay away from doing that because you know whether you like it or not the reaction channels are a help to you they keep people talking about you they actually drive you know subscribers to your channel so in some sort of way it's a symbi- symbiotic relationship you need them they kind of need you but they don't need you as much because they can always find someone else to talk about and report on whereas you not to be completely rude but with the content you're putting out you need the reaction channels to drive you know, you know, people to your channel to at least check you out to give you a couple of views. Now, I know Amberlynn feels like the reaction channels are taking views. No, they're not, because if they were taking views, which is not possible, you probably wouldn't have any views at all. But people are still coming to your channel because they're interested in you on some level. The issue you are probably having is that the reaction channels who are reacting to your content are doing better than you view-wise. And the reason they are, in my opinion, is because they have more of a personality and they actually are giving context to your content. They're adding they're adding to your content and making it more palatable, more digestible, and probably a little bit more fun because they're actually having a conversation with their chat or with their comment section. That's just my opinion from what I've seen and from what I've heard, and I'm inclined to agree with the majority of the people who are saying this. So that being said, everyone, thank you for joining me today. That's all I have. Abracadabra, magician, out.